Greetings Bio 111 students. In this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the rates of each of your reactions in the Enzyme Activity Lab. Rates, remember mathematically, are the same as the slope of the line. So we'll go through Excel to show you how to calculate that. Okay. Notice I've got all my data entered in just like in the graphing video. So what you're going to want to do first is click your mouse on an empty cell underneath the column of data that you want to calculate the slope for. Okay, before we do the calculation, let's go and look at our line here. So we'll use pH 7 as the example. If you notice, the line begins to um, level off around 120 seconds. When we're calculating the rate of reaction for enzymatic reactions, we really are only interested initially in the first few data points that show the line increasing. That's where you have the maximum amount of oxygen, in this case, being produced. So we're only going to calculate the slope from 0 to 120 seconds in this particular video and for this particular reaction. What that means is we will only select data from our y-axis data that corresponds to 0 to 120 seconds. Okay, so you've got your mouse or your cell clicked right below the data that you're interested in. You're going to go up to where it says FX, the Insert Function button. Click on that, and it's going to open up a window that will allow us to find the slope function. So in the search for function, you just type in slope and hit go, and it will come up in the menu below or the list below. So click on OK, and that will start us into the slope process. Now, we've got another window open here, and it's going to ask us for our known Y's and our known X's. So click on the line that says known X's, and then go over and select 0 to 120. Then go down and click in the window where it says known Y's, and click the corresponding Y data from 0 to 29 in this case, but what corresponds to 120. And then hit OK. That gives us our value. Now remember, the units on this value are milliliters of oxygen per second. So be sure that you indicate that in your lab report. That's how you calculate the slopes or the rates of reactions for the enzyme lab.